Hello, welcome back to the channel, and we're going to Asvex. Way back a year ago. Hello, welcome back to Tap Thursday, and this tap is for Asvex. So we've got two pale ales here from Asvex. We have got Clown Car Horns, which is a Citra and Ruaka pale ale, coming at 4.2%. And we've got Atto Second Tunneling, Amarillo, Cashmere and El Dorado pale ale, coming at 4.8%. So what we'll do, we'll crack into them. I'll start off with the Clown Car Horns. We'll put that one to the side until we've been through this one. Let's get the glass. Let's crack it open. This was £3.20 from my uh, local bottle shop. I think that's a cracking price as well for an Asvex beer. So let's get it in the glass. See how it looks like. Get the aroma and get the taste. So pale ale. It's going to be opaque, isn't it, pretty much? Let's go about halfway. Turn that glass around. There you go. So yeah, actually, yeah, it is opaque, but it's not fully opaque. So there is a, there's definitely light getting through and I can see my finger through as well. Uh, nice white, creamy head formed as well, which looks super. Carbonation looks super low, which again is fantastic. Aroma, it's great because I'm getting a little bit of the malt aroma as well. But I'm getting a lot of, what I'd say, lime. Strawberry as well, like strawberries, lime, mango, a lot of citra. Citrus, sorry. Is this a citra one? It is a citra one in Riwaka. Yeah, so there is plenty of citrus going on there. It smells absolutely superb, I'm honest. Okay, well, let's get more of it in now. Let's fill the glass. It's a 440ml glass. I'm going to get it all in at once. Probably not. But that's what it looks like. Looks fantastic. Okay, cheers. That's a cracker. Ooh, it's got lots going on flavour-wise. It's got more in the flavour than it has on the aroma. You're definitely getting more tropical vibes on the flavour. That lime and lemon, not lemon, no, lime and orange. Nice mandarin orange is there. It's got a nice long-lasting flavour, really low bitterness. And you're just about getting it's quite creamy as well but you're just about getting a nice sweetness from the malt you can tell you can tell it's a malt that you're tasting and it is it's really like a when you say bread it's like buttered dough sweet dough like a sweet bread and it's, it's lovely it really really is what's that 4.2 percent and it drinks really well medium no i'd say medium to light um in the mouth feel the body um Carbonation, like I say, is really low, which is superb. So it makes it a really easy drink. But it's really long lasting, which is great. It's just, it's like um, Wrigley's, what were they called? It was a chewing gum, juicy fruit, chewing gum. That's the sort of flavours you, you're getting bouncing around the palate. That's superb. That really is. So let's pour the rest in, see what it says in the can. I'll go and enjoy this. And then we'll come back for the next one, which I've already forgotten the name of. So there's a the can out. Let's see, the horn, clown horn, no, no, clown car horns. Love, I don't know where to get the name from, it's the same with short show, isn't it? Um, what does it say on the can? I know what I've got to do, remember to bring my glasses in after I've drank this and do the next one. Um, it just, but it just says about Asvex, really. As, Asvex, uh, they're there in uh, Liverpool. Um, if you go and check out my Modern Monday for them, a little bit of background about them. Uh, but you can go and check them out on www.asvexbrewing.com. They're also on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Untapped. And it's just 4.2%. doesn't say anything else. No descriptions. Don't need to, really. You've got the hops. You know it's a pale ale, and it's a cracker. So I'm going to enjoy that. We'll come back, and we'll try... Atto second tunneling. Okay, okay, we're back. That beer was fantastic. Really nice, easy drinking session, session um, pale ale that was. Uh, and this, I'm expecting the same from this. Amarillo, Cashmere and Eldorado. I've used Amarillo and Cashmere 
Uh, no, Elderillo, Elderillo, Elderillo and Eldorado. I've used them hops. And on the last beer, I've never used Rewaka. I think that might be a New Zealand hop. But that's another hop I've never actually used in brewing. Um, and Kashmir, I've not used Kashmir, but I have had some beers now with Kashmir. Um, so, yes, yeah, so I'm looking forward to this. Let's get, crack it open. £3.20 again from the uh, local bottle shop, The Bottle Stop. And let's get it in there. I'm expecting it to be pretty much the same on looks, but it does look a little bit lighter, if I'm honest. It looks slightly lighter. Nice white creamy head form in there. Where's the front of that? So actually, it's more opaque than the last one. <laughs> There's me pointing out it looks lighter. It actually looks more opaque. I'm definitely not gonna see a shadow of my hand through that. Nice, thick, white, creamy head formed as well. What do you say? That's like a, a deep straw lemon in colour. Aroma. Oh, this has got lots going on. Melon. Definitely getting melon. The honeydew melon. Citrus. Lots of little citrus. Again, it's like lime. Mango. There's quite a lot of mango there. Slight peach notes as well. That's another... I've said this before. Opal fruits. That smells absolutely fantastic. Let's get more in the glass and then we can have a taste. It smells fantastic though. Going to get it all in. Oh no, you see that. <laughs> see, that's something you can't, when it's in a can, you just, you just, you can't see it, but it's okay. That's just uh, some proteins and yeast that have just gone into the glass now. I don't know if you've seen that on the camera, but yeah, it's gone in. It's fine. Don't bother me. Okay. Cheers. That's got slightly more bitterness to it. The last one had no bitterness. This one got a slight bitterness to it, which is nice. It's not piney or anything like that. It's just got a nice bitterness there, like a like a, a piff bitterness. And it's only slight. I'm not saying it's, it's nothing like a, a West Coast bitterness, but that's nice. And then you'd get in that sweet malt again. It, it, it feels like it was exactly the same um, grain grist from the last beer because that sweet dough, I call it. That sweet dough, I call it, um, was, is coming through again. But then you've got like that. I said on the last one, it was like um, the chewing gum. And I've forgotten again what sort of chewing gum. Them yellow juicy fruits. It's like juicy fruits. Because there's lots going on. But I think on this one, the mango taste is a little bit more prominent than the last one. But you're getting the nice, which I really like, is mandarin. You get a nice sweet orange and a nice lime touch to it. And it just tastes perfect. It really does. What's this one? 4.8%. It, it, there's not a lot in it body-wise at all. A little bit creamier, slightly. And I mean slightly. But again, another easy drinking beer from Asvex. Superb. I do like Asvex. I think they do some fantastic beers brewed in Liverpool. Really, really do like them. And like I say, them, you know, they put the description for hops on there as well, which is fantastic. The can art is always fantastic. And I think they're quite reasonable as well uh, from my local bottle shop, the prices for Asvex. I think they're, you know, definitely reasonable. But, uh, yeah, it looks the part, doesn't it? That's taste again. Carbonation's super low. It's just very drinkable. It's just so drinkable. Both of them, both of them, so drinkable. If I was to choose between the two, because they are both pale ales, and they are different, they're both different. This one's got slightly more bitter notes and more of the opal fruit starburst flavors, where this one was more of your juicy fruit flavor. Um, slightly bit more body. 4.8, a little bit more creamier. And because it's got that bitter note, that I would choose that over the two. It's not about choosing which one, but I just think if you had to have one again out of the two and I couldn't have the other, if that makes sense, I'd go for that one because that's got that bitter note, which I just think helps balance beers sometimes. So there you go. Okay, thanks for watching. Cheers, and I'll see you on the next one. I've been dreaming on in my head like I've seen it A life worth living is a life with meaning I'll do what I love till my heart stops